Hey Jolly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I have been super excited to be having a play with these products as they are cat eye magnetic powders. They all come in this resealable sort of um, packet and they all come with one sponge applicator, um, which you see here, which I've got glitter on from somewhere. Excuse me while I just take that off. <laughs> But there you go. But that's like if you're like buffing it in more, the sort of tanny side to it. They all come sealed for your protection. And ooh, look how gorgeous that looks. So yeah, so I've been really excited to have a play with these. Um, I've kind of fell in love with magnetic things for nails. Again, after watching countless Manisha M um, YouTube videos, she is the magnet nail art queen in my opinion she has created some absolutely stunning nail art using more magnetic polish than in powders um so i already had like uh, magnetic polishes which i don't actually use that much i don't know why but anyway i wanted to try out the powders because i was intrigued to see how it was gonna work now this is an experimental uh review because i have heard on the grapevine that people have been having issues with these magnetic powders. So I kind of tried to rub it in to the no white top coat and basically it just did a magic act and made the powder completely disappear. Um, so then I tried applying it with a tacky layer to see whether that would get better results. And again rubbed it in. But you can see that the colour comes through with, with this one but it's just very, very uneven um, application. So I was a bit like, ew, this looks gross. <laughs> but yeah, but basically I'm trying you, trying, I'm showing you the different ways that I tried to get this to work and the different magnets as well. Sorry, this was a little bit blurred. I just applied the same gel top coat over the top. Um, and I'm using this cat eye magnet because I know this one works because this is what I've used in um, when I use my gel polishes which I'll show you later on in the video and as you can see nothing really happened um, by the way if you're wondering why I'm seeing whether this these magnetic slice and the other one work is because through my countless attempts at <laughs> trying to get it to work to get the colour to come on and different things like that um, I just basically wanted to, like I say, to work out whether there's an issue with the, the magnets or whether there's an issue with the powder. So this is the slice. So it's quite a subtle cat eye, but it is there. You can definitely see and it shifts when you move the nail. So that one works fine. And then I just sort of reapplied the polish and I tried this sort of round cat eye magnet to see whether this one would work. which you can see here. Sorry for the horrific camera shake, it does work. So it's not an issue with the magnets. So back to the drawing board I went and I reread the instructions and I realized that you're not meant to rub it in like I was doing at the start of the video. You're meant to kind of like pat it, pat it in to the layer, into the tacky layer, sorry. No, not the tacky layer, <laughs> non, non tacky layer. And, but again, it was just not very good coverage at all yeah so I was really really shocked with this because to be honest I've reviewed quite a few of Born Pretty's products over the years and you know generally I get the stuff do what they say on the instructions and it just works but for whatever reasons it wasn't working today and as you can see I'm putting the powder on and it's just it's coming off on the brush but anyway I thought I would show you all these different things that I tried just in case I don't know, you've got them and you're having the same issues wondering why it doesn't work. So I tried to hold like the magnet over it longer to see whether that had any effect and it didn't. So then I sort of started hunting down videos on YouTube um, and I sort of talked to my nail tech friend Stephanie and got her advice and um, she did show me a video, I think it was what Glitter Artie put up because I think they had, people were having the same issues really, they weren't getting it to work and she sort of put like a quick video on. Uh, I'm doing it slightly differently um, 
in that I am mixing the powder with the top coat and applying that. But as you can see, it is a much more even, even, even cov coverage, even though I'm messing it up here instead of just leaving it alone. Um, so I'm not obviously curing this and I applied the cat eye over the top and I'm doing it this way just so you can show, sorry, just so you can see how close I was holding the magnet to the nail because obviously you don't want it too close. So there was a bit of something there, there was a bit of a shift but it's not very strong at all. So I decided to add um, another coat. So this one, th that layer had been cured underneath my lamp and I'm going to go ahead and apply the second coat now just to see if that has better results basically. So again same process holding it there. So I know that I think they've got quite a few powdery thing powders on there and I think there's another set but I think that's more expensive I think to get the whole set it's like 33 um, euros or dollars or whatever it is on the website um, and that one it, it does look proper stunning um, but with this one on their advertisement it's more like the cat eye going across the nail as opposed to using the round magnet thing that I showed you earlier on so I'm hoping to get a much better result but we'll, we'll see but if not this is a gorgeous colour anyway I know you don't obviously buy it for this. I'm just trying to look for positives. <laughs> positives, you know, maybe you've got it and it isn't working, but you know, if you like the color, then all is not lost. You can still mix it in and use it that way. So I tried with the cat eye. Uh, so as you can see there, ooh, there's a bit more of something going on with this one. Woohoo! <laughs> And this is it again after the second coat um, and cured. So yeah, so you can definitely see there, it's not crisp. It's not 100% crisp and clear, but it is there. So I did try these different magnets as well. I just ended up having a bit of a play because to be honest, I was fed up that these hadn't worked how they should have worked. So again, the magnet slice, you can see there, it works. They do say to get it underneath the lamp as quick as possible to keep that look there. So I'm just trying to show you the different looks going on. And that was it after the second coat. So I've obviously already applied this to the nail and I've used this um, more of the, of the round one. I think you do this to kind of get the S shape that I've seen going around. So there you go, it is there and it does move. But yeah, I'm just disappointed really that, I mean for these, the fact that they are powders, you should be able to apply it to the nail and get the effect that way. Because having to mix it to get the look, like what I'm doing here, you might as well just buy gel magnetic polish, um, to be honest, or normal magnetic polish because, well, you know, what's the point of getting it to have to mix it? The whole purpose of powders is that you don't because obviously unless you like a nail techie and know like the perfect ratio to get the perfect results every time, it's just not going to be working for you. And I don't even know what went on with this one. These sort of tended to have a bit more of a shimmer in them and more sort of a chameleon look coming through. So I don't even, I don't know. I just really don't know. <laughs> so again, a little bit of a shift, but not dead strong. So this is the result from my little experiment thing. And yeah, just disappointed really and frustrated that I couldn't get it to work. And it definitely not as advertised, um, but hey. Do you know what? Sometimes that's what reviews are. They show you and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And as you know, I'm always honest anyway. So there you go. So I'm sorry if you were really looking forward to this and wanted them to work. For whatever reasons, I couldn't get them to work. But there you go. But thank you for watching anyway, Jelly Babes. Take care. Bye.